I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following on this Friday. A national TikTok challenge that's reportedly calling on students to commit acts of violence at their schools is allegedly supposed to happen today. The Kern High School District says it has sent out automated phone calls or letters to parents and guardians. In it, it reads in part, quote, while these threats and rumors do not target any Kern High School District schools, we take them very seriously. KHSD police and local law enforcement are monitoring the situation. Districts also urging parents to talk to their kids about the consequences of taking part in these dangerous social media trends. Meantime, in other news, the district is distributing meal kits to kids from ages 2 to 18 on Monday from 10 a.m. to noon in front of the Regional Occupational Center on Mount Vernon Avenue. These meal kits have breakfast, lunch, snacks, and dinner for 10 days. We are two days into the state's indoor mask mandate and certain rules are leaving residents and officials with more concerns than answers. There's been some confusion about the re-implementation of the mask mandates in different counties. The Associated Press, for example, is reporting San Francisco is exempt from requiring fully vaccinated people to wear a mask indoors because of their high vaccination rate. Well, we reached out to state health officials who provided us with this statement. They say, quote, Every county must either have in place their own indoor masking requirement, regardless of your vaccination status, or follow the state's guidance. Some local health departments have already implemented indoor masking requirements, and those policies will remain in place, unquote. All right, let's bring in Callan Hobman in for Elena with a check of your forecast as we head into the weekend. Hey, good morning and happy Friday. We are seeing a lot of fog out there this morning, so make sure you're driving carefully. It's also really cold. We're only seeing a high of around 50 today. We're seeing calm and clearer conditions throughout the weekend, but cold as well. Low 50s tomorrow, upper 50s for Sunday. We're in those mid 50s heading into the week, but we are expecting another storm system to come our way Monday into Tuesday. So we are expecting some rain that could keep here in our communities all the way through Christmas Eve on Friday. As for mountain communities, low 50s today for Lake Isabella, mid 40s for Tatchby and Fraser Park. Those temperatures go up a little bit throughout the week going into next week. But again, that storm system coming in Monday into Tuesday, you see it gets much stronger Wednesday and Thursday. And so, of course, with that rain means possible snow for our mountain communities. So we'll keep an eye on that as we head into the weekend. But we could see a white Christmas next week for our friends in our mountains. And there it is. That's a look at some of the stories we're following at this hour. For breaking news, especially weather this time of year, or traffic information anytime, anywhere, download our free mobile and tablet apps. We will send out push alerts with the latest information. We'll see you back here for another update later today.